Are you a business owner, salesperson, or entrepreneur who's overlooking the pot of gold that's right in front of you? Well, if so, let me help you find it. A few days ago, I was talking to an acquaintance of mine, Mark Carter. He's a podcaster, and he said something brilliant. So brilliant, in fact, I'm going to read it verbatim. He said, why are we chasing shiny new objects when we have people who know, like, and trust us in our networks? When you already have rapport and comfort with those individuals, focus your time and energy on them. This isn't the first time I'd heard that advice, but it was the first time I'd ever heard it put that way. Mark's insight about networking and marketing hit me right at a time when I needed to hear them. I've been expending a lot of energy lately trying to attract new prospective clients, whether it's for speeches, for coaching, for training. And I realized I've been running a little bit ragged and the results have been okay. Mark shined a light on the pot of gold that I've been overlooking. That is my current network. Who is that specifically? Well, it's my newsletter list. It's people who subscribe to my weekly newsletters and tips. Secondly, it is past clients. Third, current clients. Fourth, centers of influence who've referred business to me in the past. Fifth, my LinkedIn connections. I have an extensive LinkedIn network. I have talked with at least 10%. I've got 500, uh, like 5,600 connections, something like that. I've talked to at least 10% of that group over the last 10 years. Those are the folks I need to go to. You have some type of network you've built up. It may be a social media platform. It may be in person. Maybe you're more the person who goes to these in-person events. It doesn't matter. If you want to reduce the stress and the uncertainty of networking and marketing, make a list of all of the pot of gold that you already have, in-person networks, virtual networks, social media, clients, past clients, even people you've talked to in the past who didn't do business with you at that time. It may just have been the wrong time for them. Reconnect. There is no reason not to talk to anybody you haven't spoken with since before the pandemic. As you know, the world is completely upside down and different than it was just four years ago. Their needs, their situations are different, and it may be the right time to talk with you. So stop overlooking that pot of gold that's right in front of you. Dig in to your existing network of people. Now, if you'll excuse me, I've got some LinkedIn people to go contact.